Beginning Glass Blowing with Andy Cohn, filmed at Studio 19 in the Spanish village of Balboa Park. In this video, we'll be showing you how to make your own glass paperweight. It's part of the introductory lesson available to the public. Call Andy today to schedule your own lesson, 619-338-0441. This is the furnace. Running at temperatures of over 2,000 degrees, it's where the molten glass is kept. The furnace is so hot, you don't want to look at it with your bare eyes, which is why having a good pair of sunglasses is important. By gathering glass onto a metal pipe called a punty, you can begin to shape and form the piece you're working on. When I do it, I So the door opens, you want to get in as quickly as you can. Hands are back. By rolling the glass onto a metal table called the marver, it allows you to push the gathered glass off the end of the punty and also cool the piece quickly so it becomes solid. chilling it at all. I'm letting a little of the glass come off the pipe. Now I'm going to switch. Pressure is the one thing I cannot teach you pressure. So it's easier to increase pressure than to decrease pressure. Once you've shaped the piece, you need to go into the reheating furnace called the glory hole to heat the piece back up to temperatures you can work with. Once the piece has become molten again, you can dip it into small glass fragments to add color. So I'm going to come on out and I'm going to use these nice small bearings. I'm going to turn towards you and keep it level, keep it turning. I'm going to pick an opaque color and pick it up on three sides of the glass. Now, this is not brain surgery. We're making art. Right. If it doesn't come out perfect, it's hard. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So the crushed glass is called frit. F R I frit. Frit. F R I T. It's like grit. Yeah. Um, this and when, then you want to go back under the plane and we're melting. You can see the frit melt. Yeah. As you can see the frit melt, you want to come back out using a nice water so that you don't hit the door. Right. The door mark. What to do? That was good. Not glad you got the joke. Okay. So in theory, you want to pick a transparent color and put it approximately where you had the yeah. opaque color. If not, it's art. So, um, and sometimes the ones that aren't exactly on top of each other look better. But this gives a better chance of giving it that color first. Once you've melted the glass into the piece, you're then able to shape it with a piece of wet newspaper. So you're keeping it level, keeping it turning. You need to switch your hand to the two of our wires. You're going to sit as close to the open area as possible. Sit back in the bench. And you're just going to take the newspaper and gently squeeze it. Now, I'm going to let you feel the back of it. It's ice cold. Right. Right. OK. Now, you can see where the colors overlapped. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take <coughs> this poker tool and start poking holes where the two colors overlap. If they don't overlap, just poke holes. So when we get the last gather, the color will not fall into these holes. It'll create a bubble and like a look of a flower burst. After the third and final gather of glass, we'll use a wooden block to shape the piece. Hands all the way back. One, two, three, basically all the way around. One time. Oh, 
next night trip. You're adding mass, that's all why. Now I set it on the rollers because it's a little heavier than I'm setting the door. A lot of times my students do just to get their balance. Yeah. Now I'm going to go back to the bench. Right hand never touches the pipe. The right hand always goes for the tool. Okay. I've let gravity work a little bit to pull some off the pipe. I'm going to choke up on the block and let it just roll. Now what I'm doing on this first one is I'm just trying to make it round. I'm not really doing much as far as, um, I'm just making it round. We're not really doing anything except for making it round. So we're rolling, your right and left hand meet, or are working together and you're rolling. Okay. about blue glass. Okay, so once again, we never do anything when it's not on center. Not That would be not center. Right. So we're going to, you're going to, what I'm doing is I'm lifting up gently right where the paper way is. Turning adds. the cup like this. Yes, I am. Okay. So I'm rolling and rolling and see, there you go. Now you've yeah. got a paper weight. Now it's on the pipe. So we're going to take this shaft, you're going to look straight down where the pipe ends and you're just going to make a score mark all the way around, like so. Once the piece has been placed into the annealer, it needs to cool overnight to prevent it from shattering. This glass blowing lesson is but part of a one and a half hour lesson available to the public. Call Andy today to find out more information or to schedule your own lesson. 619-338-0441.